Hey guys, welcome back to another book review. Today we're going to be talking about one of the best books I've ever read in my life and so motivational and inspiring and super dense but packed full of good information and that's why it was so hard for me to condense it into just one video um, but I'm going to try and do that today in a different style actually. I have a notebook here with a lot of my thoughts written down and I'm going to share those with you. So you're probably wondering what the book is if you didn't read the title, which I'm sure you did. So the book today is The Art of Learning by John Waitzkin. Um, super fantastic book. He is very accomplished. He has an eight-time national chess champion. He has done myriad other things. He's a world champion for chess. He moved on to martial arts and won 21 national championships and several more worlds after that. He was a published author at 18. I mean, just hugely successful kind of guy. And so you can see I have my notebook with my thoughts written down here. Um, but just really when you think about learning and people who have mastered not one or two skills, but the skill of learning, this guy is probably at the top of the list. Um, and this book really explores not just um, how your brain operates and things like that, but also how your body, mind, and almost a soul aspect all play into the art of learning. So let's get started. So the learning process as he describes it is a little different. Um, and so he agrees with the idea of learning your fundamentals and things like that, um, that your fundamentals are realistically what you build your whole base on. But the way that, for example, he learned his chess fundamentals were very different from what you would expect. Um, so very often a lot of chess players start with openings and things like that and just memorizing a whole bunch of things. Um, but what his teacher taught him was that basically in chess you have kings and pawns and queens and rooks and knights and castles and I mean there's a million, um, there's quite a few pieces. But anyway, so you have your, he, they each had a king and uh, he also had a pawn. So it was three pieces on the board. That was all he had to look at. And so he learned the interactions between these pieces. And then eventually they added more pieces and created more interactions. And so it was more about building a fundamental understanding than just memorizing things. So his, and I'll explain this more later, but it's really about digesting the abilities um, and, and the true natures and aspects of things um, and not just memorization. The second thing, and I've talked about this in my vlogs, if you haven't seen my vlogs, so check it out on Facebook. Um, but anyways, invest in loss. You know, the only way you're going to get better is by playing people who are better than you. Losing is a part of the game. I mean, that is total expectation. It's the entire reason I'm starting my One Week Wonder series where I record how, like, I mean, there's a lot of things that I have never experienced in my life that I'm very bad at, um, but there's a lot of things that I want to try to get better at. And so, for example, this, or starting tomorrow, in fact, we're going to be doing a one-week series about learning to draw and how good we can get at drawing in one week. Um, but realistically, the expectation is for me to fail. That That is the idea. I'm not going to be an artist, um, but I want to take one of these skills that are super hard to learn, at least people perceive it that way and break it down and try and learn the fundamentals uh, based on this book and see how far that can take in just one week. Um, next, we have quit making excuses. Um, this is super important. I think this is just a valuable life, life lesson that we can all um, kind of appreciate. For example, you know, you don't want to be the person who's always making excuses for why they didn't win or for why they couldn't um, play well or something like that, um, simply because no one likes to be around that kind of person. It's, it's pretty normal. Um, you should realistically be trying to turn the bad into good. Um, a great example that I really love from his book that he gives is where he talks about how um, he had trouble focusing when it was nothing but or when it wasn't quite absolute peace and quiet. Uh, so when there was a song stuck in his head or something like that, it used to devour him. He wouldn't be able to perform. Um, and I think we've all experienced some sort some form of that, um, whether it be um, something like bothering us and we can't study or focus on our um, exam works or whatever we have to do. Um, but anyway, so he, he kind of played to the rhythm of that song that was stuck in his head. And so that way he overcame that challenge and that distraction um, and he didn't make excuses for it. Next we have um, cultivate, cultivate these by your own. Um, so basically uh, there's these uh, states of mind in which we learn best. Um, for some people, a uh, very aggressive, uh, so if you're playing a sport or something like that, you can be very aggressive and, and, and that helps get you amped up and ready to play. Um, and that gets you into the right state of mind. But you don't go bullheaded where you just lose complete control of yourself. You, you cultivate this, uh, um, this energy and this mood in which you can play the best. You know, for someone who's uh, playing a, like a mental game, um, something like that, where a lot of it is based upon, you know, your thought processes and things like that, um, you can't, maybe the best for you is to be in a very relaxed, calm mood than an energetic, amped up kind of mood. Um, and so a lot of times there are certain places or things or routines that we do that can get us into those kind of moods. And so um, his idea is to 
work through those routines but gradually shorten them so that you can call upon those emotions with just um, the visualization so one instance was that uh, the whole reason he came up with this idea in fact was he was competing and i believe in a national championship and broke his hand i mean just broke it that nothing he could do and he still had to finish out the round and so what happened was um it seemed as if time had slowed down for him and so this were this introduced the concept of uh of really being at peace and at one and so instead of breaking his hand every time he wanted to um, achieve maximum potential he decided to go through create routines and we can all do that um, in which you know it takes a lot of practice and effort and things like that but think back to a, a routine or something that de-stresses you relaxes you um, whether that's you know playing catch or whether that's having a snack or reading a book um, just visualize it you practice that and over time you know reduce that maybe it's also listening to music and then reading a book and it doesn't just be one thing you know and then it can be eating a snack and so gradually you want to reduce those so that you can call on those uh, those trigger mechanisms uh, almost instantaneously that's super important and then next we have um, this is a huge point um, but basically it's internalizing the information I kind of touched on it internalizing the information that's provided for you so that it literally becomes a part of you so I know I'm relating a lot to chess today but um, he was a master cha or chess uh, champion so I am going to be talking about that quite a bit um, so basically um, the difference between you know someone who who's a novice and has this breakthrough I've actually had this in racquetball you know you come up with this breakthrough and you think oh my god I you know I, I changed the game and things like that when realistically you know someone who's far more experienced than you would say yeah I know that's that's how the game is played or that's how, how that works um, but to you that's a revelation so um, you have to take these inspired moments and uh, build on them and so internalizing the uh, ideas that are happening so internalize your fundamentals so that literally uh, you when you're playing a chess game or something like that you're consciously thinking but there also has to be a certain amount of subconscious thought that's going on um, just automatic processes that your natural instinct because you've absorbed this information and really internalized it and then let it become a part of you your natural instinct is telling you what to do um, so that's super important and one way he describes doing this is chunking so um, taking segments of information we've probably all done this when studying for tests or something like that um, but basically chunking the information and that allows us to memorize it a lot easier and then the last point that I'm gonna hit on today is high intensity interval training um, athletes use this uh, brain athletes use this I mean it's a huge it's a very very important tool and I touched on it slightly earlier but the idea here is that if you're in a physical competition and you know say it's a it's a martial arts match or even if it's uh you know you're a lineman against lineman in a football game um, whoever is going to be able to cool down the fastest you know you have that play where you go against each other for six seconds or whatever it is and then you know you get that 45 second break whoever in that 45 second break can rest and recover the most is going to have a huge huge advantage when it comes to getting to that next play right so the idea here is high in or uh, excuse me high intensity interval training um, so work your body up really 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 hard and then just stop and, and figure out how you can gradually reduce your um, recovery time and things like that so this can apply to weightlifting it can apply to uh, mental focus it can apply to uh, competition so I mean there's a there's a million one things this can apply to but what you want to be able to do is just instantly enter that optimal mood in which you can be uh, motivated and progressive and things like that um, so once again the art of learning uh, super fantastic book I'll link it down in the description it is an affiliate link just so you guys know being 100% honest um, in this book you're gonna learn it's super dense but it's also super entertaining he's a very talented writer um, and so I just really hope you guys check this out uh, thanks for watching and have a good one